Hi, right, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to make a different version of the wrap uh, seasoning. So on this occasion, I'm going to use some uh, different uh, chilies, uh, garlic, onion, some turmeric powder, some um, avocado powder. It's going to be a, a different in this uh, seasoning. Some uh, orange uh, leaves powder. So it's going to be kind of interesting in uh, how to make this uh, rub. And as you, know, as you know, you can always buy it, make your own. A lot of people, you know, they just make their own when they have a lot of spices at home. Or if you like to cook a lot, you know, most of the times you have a lot of seasonings in, uh, on the shelves. And this occasion is going to be about, I would say, two, four, six, eight, about 15 ingredients. So you can always change it, put whatever you want on it, you know, your uh, favorite seasonings, and make your own rub. In this occasion, I'm going to use this for my brisket. I'm going to make a roasted brisket or braised brisket instead of uh, smoking it. Usually, you know, the brisket, they just put salt, pepper, and uh, some uh, celery uh, seeds or something like that. So it's just depending, you know, how you want to make it, but usually... That's how they do the brisket. So I'm gonna come back and show you the list of the ingredients, and uh, so that way we can follow the, the recipe. Okay, so for my uh, rub, this is gonna be a basic rub. So I'm gonna have I have a uh, four tablespoons of chili powder over here, and then four tablespoons of uh, smoked paprika, four tablespoons of uh, chili guajillo powder. One tablespoon of uh, cayenne pepper, and I have uh, four tablespoons of garlic powder with uh, parsley. So it's gonna be garlic salt and par uh, parsley. And also, you can add just black pepper and mix it all together. And this one is gonna you can use it for your rubs, for uh, braising, smoking, uh, grilling meats and stuff like that, or just a regular seasoning. But uh, what I'm gonna make the difference in my rub, <clears throat> it's all these uh, different ingredients that I have that they're not common when you, uh, they're not on the stores basically. <clears throat> so I have some uh, black pepper, like I said before. So uh, four tablespoons of black pepper, three tablespoons of uh, dehydrated minced onion, salt, to taste and also have eight uh, cardamom seeds uh, blended, grounded and this is my orange leaves powder so I have a orange tree and when I trim my my um, orange tree you know I take out the leaves and let them dry so that way I can use them in the winter and I'm just gonna put them in the processor make a powder out of it and this is gonna taste, you know, the citrus flavor out of the seasoning. And over here, I have my avocado powder from the seeds. Also, I have, you know, some um, other videos where I use my avocado powder seed. So these two, they're not common on the seasonings or in the stores. You're not gonna find them. So that's why I make, you know, my own uh, seasonings. But uh, if you don't, if you cannot find these ingredients, and if you want to buy it from me, I'll be more than happy to sell it to you. You just pay for the shipping and handling, and I'll ship it over for you. So we're, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna mix all the ingredients together. I have it over here because I was explaining my Spanish version. So what we're gonna do? We're just gonna combine all the ingredients. And then, like I said, with the salt and the um, pepper, it's going to be to taste. But the rest of the ingredients is going to be the same. You can always add or, you know, take out the salt if you don't, don't want to add salt. So that way, you know, they just mix it all together. And then... I'm just going to explain what I did to my Spanish version and come back and show you the final step. Alright, so this is our final presentation on the 
seasoning or the rub and I'm gonna use this for my brisket like I said before uh, you can use it for your ribs for your briskets for your uh, braised beef short ribs anything chicken pork fish poultry in general and as you know if I was, I was gonna make if you wanted to do chicken and you know poultry then we're just gonna add over here some uh, rosemary thyme sage oregano measure to make it like this instead of the other stuff but this is my chicken seasoning that I use a lot and this one I use this one a lot and I'm gonna take some of this because I don't have any of the celery seeds but this one does has and this one has pretty much the same ingredients but they're uh, bigger course on the grinding so I'm just gonna take about four tablespoons like I did with the rest so that way we have evenly our ingredients <clears throat> you can always add or take out or make as much or as little as you need and like I said before you know you can use this for anything you want and if you want to buy it for me let me know I'll send it over just pay for the shipping and handling <clears throat> or you can stop by at the restaurant and I'll give you a little sample uh, I'm gonna make a brisket like I said before so I'm gonna use this uh, rub I'm gonna make this brisket in the oven we're not gonna smoke it because it's raining it's gonna be raining all day and I don't want to be in and out getting wet so I'm gonna make my brisket uh, in the oven so that way you can stay tuned in my next recipe and thank you for watching my videos don't forget to share follow me on Facebook on uh, Chef Alex Perez also and uh, some of the subscribers that you guys watch me on Facebook thank you for you know watching my videos and I hope you guys follow me on Facebook also so we'll see you next time thank you enjoy